So we're only five months into the year, approaching the six month. We're in the last couple weeks of May. And this is my um, vision board journal where I'm gonna be creating vision boards all year as inspiration for future works and future artistic journeys. And it already looks like this. So as much as it pains me to do, I think before it becomes a problem, we need to expand the spine on this. Like what I did on my other one. Let me grab it, hold on. Uh, this one. So I'm hoping to do it to this one before the spine gets all like curly and wonky like it is in this one. I mean, the pages are holding together, but yeah. So, this was by no means a perfect job, but you know, uh, it is what it is and it is working out okay. And I'm going to be working on the last few pages in this and trying to get this done. But in the meantime, this one needs some help. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna speed forward through the process. I have a video on how I did the first one. I will come back and do some little chatting and let you know how I thought this one went. I'm really going to try to not stitch the signature, restitch all the signatures. I really don't want to have to do that. So we'll see if I can manage. I don't know. All right, I'll be back. Wish me luck.
every time I do one of these, I feel like I get a little bit better at it and I learn something new. Um, what I learned with this one is I do like the idea of cutting away or tearing or scraping away the tissue paper that's gluing the back of the spine and covering the stitching on the signatures in the moleskin journal and loosening up the signatures just a little bit, ideally without breaking the threads or having to restitch the whole thing. That being said, do it very carefully and I would recommend, and I, the next time I do one of these, I will do all the steps I did here, but before I start taping it together or put tape over the spine, I think what I would do is take a little bit of uh, PVA glue or Yes Paste or something along those lines and glue a new piece of thin like tissue paper um, or vellum or something on the spine over the stitches in their loosened form, loosen them up a lot and then re-glue a new piece of paper, then start putting the journal back together. I did separate the stitching in the signatures a little bit with a sharp X-Acto knife um, or craft knife. I would do it very carefully. I did um, go through <laughs> a couple spots and so I went through the journal. This is some stuff I've just got to glue in here. I went through the journal in certain spots and I put some masking tape over the spots that I sort of accidentally cut through or over the spots where um, the signature was stitched originally together to hold those threads in place. And I don't mind, I just used regular masking tape so I can still see the vision board pieces that I put on already through the masking tape so that works just fine. And because it's masking tape, I can write or draw on it in future blank pages and spaces like over here uh, very easily. So. I think that'll work just fine. I do still think it's gonna end up like this at the end of the year, but the spine being this thick, it will accommodate it a little better than the original, I think. So, there you have it. I still like using moleskins. I like using the paper. I know it's thin, but I do think going forward, I will go through on a new one and I will probably take like half of the pages out. So, that's a, probably a thing. Anyway. Vision boards. Let's get back to it, shall we? All right, I'll be back. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon for notifications on future videos. And support the free content how you can by signing up for the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and a bunch of other really great artists, or shopping in my Etsy shop, or joining Patreon, or something along those lines. All of it's in the video description and or on my link tree list of links, which is also in the video description. Go out and have a great day, everybody, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.